My name is Hazel Malone, and I am from the fair city of Portland, Oregon. I grew up in over a dozen foster homes and was finally adopted at the age of nine into a family that perhaps was not the best fit. And I struggled to adapt to life and abuse that I had experienced. By the time I was a teenager, I was using a lot of drugs and by the time I was 17 I started using heroin and that eventually led to homelessness. When I was 19 years old my little sister Alex who was also homeless and also a heroin addict was murdered. Shortly after that I lost my boyfriend Damien to an overdose and six months after that I lost my best friend Stephanie to a brain hemorrhage caused by a dirty needle. All three of them were so beautiful and so young. The thought that I was living and they were not made me consider that perhaps I should be doing something more meaningful with my life. It was not the quickest journey, but experience by experience, I built a new life for myself and the Film Center was an integral part of that journey. In 2000, I was very excited to do a project uh, with students at New Avenues for Youth. These were kids that were either currently homeless or formerly homeless, and the goal of the project was to make a 10-minute video based on their life experiences. What really impressed me about Hazel was the fact that she could be driven, but also be caring. And I was really impressed with the way the other students responded to her. Her leadership abilities uh, are uh, considerable. And it was really like having a co-teacher. The film that we all chose to make was based on an idea that I had, which was a story about a girl and her experience with homelessness. It was almost a form of art therapy, and it really helped me just to be in touch with what had happened instead of escaping from it. Our approach is to teach film, but really more to empower people to find their voice and to empower them to, through filmmaking, through looking through the lens of a camera, through editing, to find what they want to say to the world. Once I started taking classes at the Film Center and becoming more involved in something positive, it was harder to fall back on my old habits. I realized that I had something meaningful to live for and something to look forward to. And I really found that it helped clarify my goals and what I really wanted to find in life. She really started from her own personal experience, which we encouraged the kids to do. The Film Center exposed me to so many artists and filmmakers who I'd never heard of before and who have come to be such an inspiration to the work that I do. Local artists like Shell White and Joanna Priestley, animators like Gladys Lasterovich and Jan Svankmeyer, the works of Akira Kurosawa. How did I live so long without them? I believe that there's this sort of hidden life force in inanimate objects, and animation and stop motion in particular are such a brilliant way of expressing that and pulling that out. In my early 20s, I realized that my focus was on animation, and in particular stop motion. And then I found myself hired at Bent making puppets, and then had the pleasure of working on Coraline. And since then have gone on to freelance at the advertising department of Leica, and at Bent, and with Ackerman Studios and various other local animation companies. The more I work in animation, the stronger my desire to make personal films is. And I hope that the Film Center will always be there as a resource as I grow in my filmmaking career. During the making of Coraline, every day I would get in the shuttle and drive out to Hillsboro. And every day I would pass my squat where I used to sleep under the freeway overpass. 
have a convoluted understanding of string theory, which allows me to believe that my present self can talk to my past self and vice versa. And I love to think on my way to my dream job that I could pass by the struggles of my younger self and tell that person that this is where I was going to end up, just in this amazing place, getting everything I'd ever wanted. I do believe that that's true. <laughs>